So what's happening, Brando, is you are a little bit... Day. Brando, I'm taking her to the vet. She has a mysterious feather loss on her head, which has me a little bit alarmed because there's not even like coils there indicating that she has some feathers growing back. So, and it's gotten a little bit worse. So today we're on our way to the vet. See that feather loss? You can tell right here because yeah, that's her. All right, so while we wait for the vet, there's a few things that I think it could be, but I'm not a vet. That's why you always want to bring your bird to the vet. So first of all, when I got Brando, she was tested for uh, polyoma, beacon feather disease, among other things. So, and she was negative. When you bring a bird home, especially with other birds, you want to really test the birds for any kind of transferable diseases. And that's why it's really important too that I find out what's going on because I want to make sure she can't be transferring anything to the birds. Um, I know that there are some things that birds can have that they can come out with a negative test and then under certain conditions, kind of like it's laying dormant in their system. So another reason I'm worried. But here are some things, keep in mind, I'm not a vet, that I think maybe it could possibly be. Just possibilities. One, her nails are too long. She's scratching her head. A lot of times when birds have feather loss on their head, they're just kind of like scratching it too much. Obviously, I clip her nails. Um, they get trimmed but just you know you never know it's a possibility maybe she is kind of like chafing her head by like hanging out under things she likes to hang out under the pillows and the couch as a lot of you that watch my instagram know perhaps she has a vitamin deficiency that's another possibility for whatever reason if so we'd have to find out why but yeah this feather loss is getting a little bit worse i just want to make sure we know exactly what's going on so let me show you brando again while we wait. Brando is a very dramatic bird. She doing glitter. She literally just chewed this plastic. What's up, Brando? I'm trying to stay calm under pressure and not react until I know something official, but turns out that uh, Dr. Molnar is going to retest Brando for beacon feather disease. Said it's very common in the species. Ugh, that would be absolutely heartbreaking. So like I said, the first thing I did when I got Brando was test her. But I learned something new today from Dr. Molnar, and it goes like this. She was tested via her toenail, which means you clip a toenail and uh, you take that blood sample and you put it on a paper and it gets sent into uh, the genetics testing lab. What Dr. Molnar told me is that when you do these tests, actually the best way is to take blood from the jugular because any blood from a toenail could be contaminated, could be a false negative, other things, and you need a real clean, clear blood sample. So I'm going to be on edge for the next few days until I find out about Brando and I will be devastated honestly, if this is something that she has. Um, but together we'll learn how to deal with it and uh, what we could do. Obviously, you know, Blue's her boyfriend because obviously Blue and Brando hang out together and he said, you know, the thing is that since they've been together this whole time, like I could potentially just let them hang out together and a few more days won't make a difference. I don't know what to do. I feel like I want to separate Brando, put her in my room, and have her stay in there. But both of them are going to lose their minds. So we're going to see what we're going to do. This is crazy. I feel for anyone that had to go through this. <sighs> Look at that, guys. I just want to sit here and cry right now. George is going to lose his mind. 
Yeah. My little friend, though. Why is it so we have to find out that he's got something now? There's no good. There's not, you're gonna be okay. There's nothing going on for you. I don't believe she's got it. I don't believe it. I think she does that to herself. She also. Oh, it's getting worse. That's what I'm saying. Huh. Come here, baby. Come here. Oh, my little baby. Uh, do you think that it's okay for her to be next to, to Blue? Well, Blue has to be separated from everybody, too, because he's the one that's interacted with her. It's, we're living in a two-floor house, you know that, right? Yeah. Any more? You want me to bring some more? No. You sure? Yeah, look at that. We're going to get Brando past this. Huge. Is it a is it a virus? What is it's it? a viral thing, like so it's feather loss from within. If anyone's gonna figure it out, we're gonna figure it out, right, Brenda? I read a story about a bird yeah. that had PBFD and then the vet said, you know, so euthanasia is the option because like, you know, it's not gonna have a good life. And so then they said no, since the bird's like cheery and still busy and whatever. They brought the home bird home and decided to spoil it rotten and gave the bird whatever it wanted. And the bird would go and hide like she does under the couch for like 18 hours, but not under a couch, under something else. And they said, well, we're just gonna let the bird do that because that's what the bird wants to do. So the bird was under this, uh, I forgot what, for like 18 hours a day and then came out to pique its interest on stuff. They got the bird tested and it was still positive. And then later the bird's feather started growing back. In a year, it was tested negative. And it's super rare and they don't even know how that could have happened. Maybe that's what they're supposed to do when this happens. Yeah, maybe that's like the process of healing, like yeah. just chilling and we get you a little spot of your own, okay? What if I made her a spot? Yeah, maybe you need to make her like a spot in here to just sit in here. Well, in here, no. She'll eat everything. Oh yeah, not in here, sorry. <laughs> It's morning. They're both in my room. Uh, it's tough because obviously I don't want Blue to catch anything if she has anything. But at the same time, he'd be very upset if he was separated. The vet advised that if Blue hasn't gotten anything yet, to, it's okay to keep them together till further notice. You guys, are you after the cat's foot? I'm the cat's foot, you know. I don't let them get you. Okay, I don't let them get you. So they've been happily playing all day. Brando is super happy today, I can tell, because she wants to follow me all around. Look at her feathers. A little afraid of it. She had a little balding once before and recovered. What are you doing? You don't want me next to your girl? He's very possessive over her. He will scream if he's not with her. I'm going to test him as well, of course, once I get her test back. So what's happening, Brando, is you are a little bit... All right. Marlene, this is Caroline calling from All Animals Veterinary Hospital. Okay, guys, I just got a message from the vet. I'm a little scared to listen to it, but um, I'm gonna play it for George and see uh, what it says. It's about Brando. It's obviously the test results. The vet left us a message. I didn't know if like you wanna. I sent it to you. So should I, should I listen to it? Yeah. You wanna sit together? Did yeah, that's hear? what. No. Is it bad? I didn't uh, listen to it. Okay. But I just want to let you know that Brando was beacon feather disease free um, and, oh, and you know, negative on all accounts. So you have a wonderful rest of your day and a great weekend. Thank you very much and bye. Good? She's good. So what, why is there like, why does she have that? She's just molting. That confirms she's just molting, but it's a really bad molt. So we're good. Yeah, but she's been molting for like months oh, and months. Oh, she's good. Where is she? I'm happy to hear that it's all good. Thank God. That was weird. Rocky. 
Proud bird, come on, show him proud bird. Proud bird, Rocky, yeah. He listens to his mommy better. He loves his daddy more, but he listens to his mommy. 